Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as Lost Hills. Now we're using a special sub-mod called Ad Victorium because I was recommended this one, or Lost Hills Expanded. But we're playing with Ad Victorium to see what it's like. It's been a very, very long time since I've played as Lost Hills, but one fateful bullet. With one soldier's decision, the wasteland would be changed forever. A brotherhood would rise, a brotherhood of steel, followed by Exodus, to leave behind the past and carve a new future. But we have, of course, Jonathan Maxon here, uh, which I would like to read about because he's a neat kind of guy. Um, he's got a Maxon heritage, he's a war hero of the NCR war, but he's shell shocked. Not good, but one fateful bullet. The 15th of October, 2077, was a fateful day. The day when Roger Maxon first rose to the challenge. His previous commander, Colonel Spindle, now capable of taking the guilt of what he had protected, had committed suicide. The full extent of what had transpired, which had been kept secret from those, even the soldiers guarding it, now came crashing down. Human experimentation. Uh, with genetic modification, initially with the intent of curing and protecting against any and all illnesses. Uh, but rarely, intent rarely remains pure, and seeing the potential of the U.S. government decided to instead create super meat soldiers forcing prisoners of wars and others to be exposed to a different strain of the forced evolutionary virus. <clears throat> Creating monsters and abominations, most of which were not even capable of life. Perversions of humanity, ordered by those who had already become monsters inside, it was the last straw that was needed for Maxon to cut all ties with the United States of America. As men followed, one scientist after another, was interrogated, judged, and found guilty. Their punishment? Summary execution. On the 20th of October, on all frequencies, Roger Maxon and his soldiers declared their secession from the United States. A broadcast of intent of justice. Their families were soon after transferred to Mariposa in fear of what happened to them should the government finally decide to act yet. No response came. Even as nuclear death rained from the sky on the 23rd. Born back when. We have now a military heritage. Uh, what does military heritage do? I'll be honest, like I said, uh, it's been a long time since i played this, so if I do things poorly, I might go back and change things up because I don't remember what, what we're doing here. Access to military heritage. Oh, top right. Oh, remember Navarro. Out of the travel from Navarro. Arroyo to destroy the Enclave's oil rig. We joined the NCR to take down Navarro, but unlike the troops of the NCR, we treated the people of the land with respect and some of them even joined us or as paladins. As paladins. They returned during a war against the New California Republican, guided us to help attack Redding and destroy the gold reserves. Now they fight for the way of life and lands against the NCR. Perhaps we could provide assistance to them if they need it. A useful way to prick the bear. Ah, past victory is good. Even better. And a stroke of firearms, nice. The way to the past. It was, it was almost as if fate itself had decided that they should succeed, the bombs being the answer to the challenge towards those cruel masters of old. Retribution and flames struck down all guilty and innocent alike. The soldiers sat, covered with their families, waiting for Armageddon to be over. By some miracle did Mariposa not suffer a direct hit, and the underground facilities and bunkers were secure enough to keep them safe, <clears throat> for a time. They were not soldiers of the U.S. Army anymore, but just a band of survivors held together by the iron will of Roger Maxon. The 25th marked a special date as another hero, Sergeant Platner. Uh, left for the surface to return with the news that the air was clean. It was too quickly decided the Mariposa needed to be abandoned. The crimes committed here and the, the risk of further nuclear strikes weighed too heavily on the place. After the last few scientists had been executed, their punishment delivered. The exodus began. The former servicemen and their families all followed Maxon on the 27th of October. They left Mariposa behind to never return. The new destination, the government bunker of Los Hills, our home, waited by choice. Words of power. They built identity. They take on a meaning if you keep using them, even if they didn't exist to begin with. There was a knights and scribes after the fall of Rome that protected what was left of Western civilization, so we have the new knights and a role similar from Roger Maxon. The chains that bind. The chains that bind. As a cornerstone of our organization, the rock that supports the great tree of the Brotherhood and paladins of a new age. After the adrenaline of having survived Armageddon settled, despair took hold. Everything was lost. The past, gone. What was even left? What purpose? Everything they believed in, even the flag, had turned to be, to be nothing but a mere playground for those who desired power. For those who used technology to dominate. Yet once more it was Maxon that gave hope that was restored. It gave new symbols, meaning, purpose. To guard the future from the past and never repeat what happened before. To safeguard humanity from its own greed. Their brother was born with it. A dynasty that would safeguard humanity. Tempered by purpose. The Knight and the Bear. Stories of David defeating Goliath are as old as our civilization, but sometimes fate shapes not like the stories, but our brotherhood first. Every organization structure, especially those made to safeguard humanity, three distinct branches, each with their own purpose and goal, the scribes to soar, keep, and develop knowledge. The knights to maintain and preserve technology, and the paladins to fight and protect. Those not ready to choose yet are initiates. Initiates. 
learning and training to one day find the calling and step into one path of their choosing. Beyond these three branches there are the elders. Usually senior paladins that serve with distinction, they are the ultimate authority in all brotherhood matters, even if they often delegate. These elders form a council, which is led by the High Elder. The High Elder is not the sole master of the Brotherhood. The council can overrule the High Elder at any time, and even replace them. Lastly, the Codex. Those fundamental tenets written by our founder, Roger Maxson himself. Nobody stands above the Code. United. The Heritage. Jerome Taylor, thank you for joining us. Paladins? It is thanks to the work of the brave Paladins that we are here today. The mightiest and most faithful, faithful of our soldiers. Men of Steel charged with the fulfillment of Maxon's great vision and the protection of the future against those who would oppose her. The paladins on the battlefield are the walking tanks that nearly won the MC, an unstoppable force that can oppose any obstacle but our decline. They were like children playing with technology recklessly, thinking they can restore what was in the past without actually understanding what the past was. They wanted to reintegrate technology that was a wasteland was not ready for. They fought over it, we fought back. It almost seemed as if we could win, but the NCR is an entirely different beast. As reckless as they are with technology, as numerous as are they. We damaged our economy and their pride, but ultimately we were too few. Now, we are hiding within our fortified bunkers. We're hiding from those who wish to restore what failed once. will outlast everybody. To build a future underground. To turn up for the underground construction decision system. Yeehaw, to happy, be happy and stuff. Understood. Cool. Because I do know this down here. Uh, underground expansion. It's been a long time since I've done this. Underground construction slots are special slots. We can fill the various buildings or installation to see and utilize your underground construction slots. See the relevant decision category. Accelerated underground expansion. So, let's see. Under 20 days, 60 days, admin upkeep goes up. Relocate underground construction facilities. <coughs> Has one space available out of 100. It's like a 500. Remove one city and lost hills. Underground arms factories. Construct underground laboratories. Failed construction slots. Admin capacity. We'll get deployed paladins too if we really wanted to, but we don't need to do that. Powerful with limited power armor units available to lost hills. They don't suffer from normal terrain mouses, as normal power armor does. Doesn't affect your special force capacity. Gain more paladins through forward focuses. Expeditionary Department, huh? I don't know which one we want to do first. Adds one off-map Expeditionary Department. Gives the country another volunteer to use. It's not bad. Underground Administrative Center. One more. To, oh, one more to Admin Capacity. Well, we only have one Admin Capacity. We probably want to expand that. Safety Department. Reduces the risk of accidents when doing lost sales decisions. Greatly increases the amount of manpower we get back from each decision on average. Training Facilities. More attack and defense, and laboratories. Use your speed. Well, you know what? Let's go with safety first. I want to go with safety, and then maybe admin center. I'm going to forget what I just said. So, empty suits. Memories of the Fallen. Back to business, because we have a lot of the little things we can do all around here. Um, I'm going to have to be very aware of what happens with all this stuff. So, I guess we'll have to do this stuff. Back to... Oh, we want that research slot, though. Expeditionary ban. Thanks. During the peak of the NCR Brotherhood War, a temporary ban was placed on paladins wishing to assist in distant chapters of the Brotherhood. Now that they have a cease fire of the NCR, most of the elders agree that this ban should be revoked. Paladins of a New Age Paladins are our warriors, clad in gleaming armor, and equipped with the best the Brotherhood has to offer. They are the pinnacle of what it means to be a warrior, ready, capable, and determined. If only we had more of them. Paladins function a lot differently than other units. Their numbers are very limited. They cannot be trained by normal means, and their templates cannot be edited. They are deployed via specific decisions. Either as units on the field direct aid to other chapters or expeditionary purposes to explore pre-war ruins. Paladins are not easily replaced. Every loss hurts. Take good care of them. Wasteland's mightiest. Cool. Forge new paladins. Some rather ex exemplary knights made a sense of honor and duty known in their conflicts with the NCR. Let us respect the sacrifices they have made to our cause by granting them the privilege, training, and required to be a full paladin of the Brotherhood. Back to business. Slowly, Lost Hills is returning back to its usual operations. We may have lost a few bunkers in our fight with the NCR, but as long as we hold Lost Hills, we'll never die. Maxon's will endures. Cool. Got a decent amount of manpower. Long range research. Long range communication. The Knights. Learn more about the Knights. Support companies. Scribes. Knowledge. Command power. Political participation effort. Research effort. Production effort. Construction. Dig deeper. Empty suits. Refurbish initiate equipment. Members of heroes. Power bonus. Oh. 
Learning from the NCR Brothers Your War. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Huh. They infiltrate border states in the NCR, immediately occupying when the war begins. Bunker. Ooh, laboratories. Acme, huh? Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, another research slot. But what do we go to the right side here? Because I get we get more stuff here and more political power. Emergency promotions, modify a night confusion, greater reforms. Add paladins, give some sway. Lose, get more political power. I like that. It's been a good few years since the high order positions been added to real power. The war with the NCR caused the paladins and council to have much more sway over bunker politics. With the ceasefire, an opportunity uh, has opened up to attempt to return the brother to normalcy. Yay, a birth research slot. Sure, go ahead, why not? The Maxonians. Maxonians are the traditional hardliners of the Lost Hills Council, composed of aged and experienced conservative elders hoping to hold on to the traditions of the Codex, Roger Maxon's bloodline, and the importance of the heritage. They see it, Roger Maxon is a hero, one whose solid ideals have built up a heritage stronger than any of the left in the wasteland. A hero who ought to be respected, revered, and respected. Again. Rombians, or Rombians. They're moderate reformers of the Lost Hills Council. Composed of younger elders, progressives, and those who regularly get into petty debates with the Mark Maxonians. Maxonians? The Rombians. Named after the ideal Rhombus. Rom Rombin Rombians. Take a compromising stance within the Brotherhood, willing to admit the flaws of the Maxonians. Seem to ignore, yet still being willing to work within the system. The Rombians. Roger Maxon was an important and pivotal figure in the founding of the Brotherhood. Yet they value the chains that binds that he established just as much. I don't know which way. Oh. As long as you're trapped in this bunker, we'll continue to suffer shortages of all the critical resources. The only way to alleviate this problem is by looking outwards. Ew. Disarmament. Oh. Tension's 55. It reaches 100. We'll have a bold opportunity to declare war. Advanced scavenging. Seek appeasement. We lose a lot of political power. Infiltrate NCR Congress? NCR Congress holds the immense sway of the foreign policy of the nation. If we can get the brother's sympathies elected, we can keep tensions between our nations low until we're prepared for war. Demilitarization. Situation lost health become desperate. The elders are desperate to avoid war with the NCRs would mean our annihilation. It's time to take drastic steps. Huh. We're also using old robots, genetic decisions, technology expanded, and stuff like that. So what do we have for national spirits? Underground hangars. Due to the fact that Los Celsius has lost almost all of its above ground bunkers, our ability to utilize what air based technology we have is extremely limited. Our scribes for us exclusively use our few remaining off ground underground hangars. Carefully timing lift offs to avoid the hangars entrances being found by the NCR. Those evil tin cans. The NCR Brotherhood Wars left many people in the greater NCR hostile to the idea of brotherhood rule. This isn't exclusively their fault, as Lost Hills typically avoided humanitarian efforts on the civilians loyal to the enemy during the conflict. Steel Pride? Not bad. Uh, Nightly Confusion. The NCR Brotherhood wars off the brothers' lower ranks in disarray. Soldiers struggle getting ammo to their rifles, the chain of command is suffered, the debts have been built among their quartermasters to an inexcusable level. Lost Hills Logistics? Fantastic. And Lost Hills uh, NCR Tension. We have only recently been able to broker our unofficial ceasefire with the NCR. Many in the Brotherhood fear that this peace won't last long. Uh, tensions for us reflect how the idea of reigniting this conflict raises members of Lost Hills begin um, abandoning their doctrinal duties in order to prepare for war with the great enemy. Rhombus. Way less attack, but way more attack. Paladin more, way more paladin attack. Army XP gain. Archibald. Experience soldier losses. M Malthus. Ooh. Square limit. Supply range, what's here? Economic advisors. Reyes. Production growth. Warwick. Caldwell, 20%. Holy crap. Barker is pretty good too. Knight Domitus. Paladin Higuchi. Scribe Fairy. Scribe Dolores. Scribe Luis. Smith. That's not bad. Oh, wow. Paladin Briggs, very good. Paladin Trigger is pretty good too. The population is not bad. We can increase our political power, huh? I guess we can still get the Golden Gecko. We'll get the Golden Gecko at least. It gives us something here. 
Um, add an off map center. We want, I want more political power, so... Paladins give some sway. The Paladins are the brother to see our influential part of our organization, yes, but historically, only influential on the battlefield, away from the politics of the elders. By in a limited fashion, creating a sort of lesser role by which Paladins have some sway in deciding issues. If there's a tiebreaker needed in the vote, then that might help stabilize the organization in the face of some issues which are simply far too split down the line. Propaganda, outlaw, emergency promotion. I wouldn't mind doing this one. Chaos in the Nevada Territories. Oh, great. Greater reforms. It's time we make some greater reforms at institutes, uh, or institutions <clears throat> uh, that have long held true to the Brother to Steel. Uh, to believe in an ideal is to be willing to betray it, after all. Cool. Political blocks, eh? Because they do want to get involved. Long range research. As the head of the Brotherhood of Steel across America, it is imperative to be the Brotherhood's mission that we ensure that as many of our distant chapters are able to live as possible. Long range communication. As the head of the Brotherhood of Steel across America, it's imperative to ensure that many of our distant chapters are able to live as possible. Electronics and radar. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go with that one. I'm going to do other stuff in a little bit. I think that would be good. I see one a day, that's not bad. Seek appeasement, research. It's not ideal. Deploy paladins. Don't really need to. Oh, so here. Available construction slots three. Underground expansion. Accelerated expansion. Let's see. Um, training. Construction. That's what we care about. Um, sure, why not? Continue shoving things underneath there. Press, huh? Core creation goes, goes down by 20%. That's not bad. Superior firepower. Mass production. Interesting. Okay, so we got a lot of things here. Taguri's Thunder. Abandoning San Francisco. Why would I ever do that? I want to do greater reforms first. We get war sport research speed at factory output. Crap, they're not political power. Research advisors, power armor technology, research speed, daily army fee gain, industry technology, research speed. I kind of want to go with the knight here. Power arm technology is nice, but senior knight, Adam Six, has been a member of the Brotherhood through several ge family generations as an apprentice knight. He has proved himself a quick mind after taking charge in a trading expedition to the NCR territory. Upon his return, he brought a vast amount of innovations to all aspects of industry, though many followers years in the Brotherhood. Uh, through them, he rose to the ranks of senior knight, and now helms commerce and industrial research for Lost Hills. Or maybe scribe, we should do instead. Industry, but power armor. I mean, you get more with industry, really. I think industry's still best. Scribe's not bad either, don't get me wrong, still. Well, now we can choose. Do we want to go to the reformers? People. Successor to America. Oh, man. We get a lot more political power. Way better construction. Like core creation cost. The NCR is America. By followers. And then the Codex. Law Stills. Legacy of Roger Maxson. Or the Troika. Intellectuals. Universal Transcendence. So the Rogo Sound goes way back down. And better concentration costs, not bad. Research above all. Cyber Ooh. Implant production. Legacy of the Torica. Rom Rhombus? Rombians? I'm probably saying that wrong. 
Which you have to family. Required garrisons. Compliance growth speed goes up, which is nice. Legacy of the Exodus. Hmm. And Maxonians. Maxonians. Jonathan Maxim back to health. Lose a shell shock. That would be pretty good. Coronation of a new Maxonian leader. Elder Angharag. War hero. Bunker garrison. This folk spawns units in each secured bunker. Line of succession. Heroes of the NCR war. Opposition to the NCR. Develop the paladins. Founders. Legacy of the Founders. I kind of like either the Reformers, the Hard Reformers. It's not bad. Knowledge above all. I do like Troika too. Hmm. Elder Rinian. Court Christian Goss goes down. Just about World Goes Time goes down. I like those a lot. But then again, you can get 30%, 33% more political power here. Uh, what is this? Commitment to purity. Fuel fortifications. Commitment to duty. And then commitment for peace. Well, probably not that way. Peace for bunkers? The Mojave Compromise, the She. Improve reputation. That's our initiative. And enlisted scribes. Arms sales. Oppose indoctrination. Legalize cams. Stabilize the Brotherhood. Commitment to purity. Ruler or elites. Population growth. Promotions. Out in purity. Really destroy a recruitable population. Confiscate production tools. Recruit experts. Division organization. Culture advisors. Defy Roger Maxon. Oh, Diify. Not Defy, but Deify. I don't know how to pronounce it. I kind of want to see what happens if you get Jonathan Maxon back to health. Oh, we need a stint pack. Each admin center gives us another one. Become elites. I kind of want to see what that route's like. The Maxonians typically are the conservatives of the Brother to Steel, those that feel the uphold of the Codex is written, as largely preferential to more interpretive views of the text. These are the elders, notably, who worked to have Elder Elijah sent out to the Mojave in recent years. I don't know, is this the right route to do? I have no idea. It's only seven days. It's probably not the best one, but whatever. Oh, we need to back, too. So we're going to wait for all this stuff here. Um, Gulf Expedition. Oh god, there's even more down here. Preparing for the ceasefire ends. Ooh. There's a whole lot of stuff we could do. Uh, San Francisco chapter. Designation, the San Francisco chapter. Description. An older chapter, the Xi's ruler, the person known as the emperor, allowed us to station a research post inside of the city. We're limited to how much authority the chapter has, but such a station will provide useful to study in the technology in San Francisco. From both the pre-war and what the Xi's scientists are able to uncover, scribes notes. Due to the powerful governing body of the Xi, we couldn't exactly walk into San Francisco to, without the support of the Xi and their emperor. It's an unusual relationship, but history can show how fruitful it has been. Considering what the post has been giving us regarding the Poseidon oil rate, excerpts from the lexicon of chapters 13 French. Mojave chapter. Oh, we need political power for this, don't we? Oh, crap. Oh man, the decision scene must have been disabled because we don't get no political power. Enable generic decisions. 
Our political system has been too inflexible and overburdened in recent years to pursue more than one goal at a time. Now the dust is settling and the state is growing larger and stronger. It may be time to pursue a variety of other tasks that fulfill our goals. Well, maybe. <sighs> we'll do one more here and then uh, we're going to lose a lot of political power, so we should probably save a lot of political, political power. Or radio towers. By amplifying our radio towers in the Lost Hills, we can better receive signals and send 80 disc chapters across the wasteland. Mojave chapter. Midwest Expedition, Texas Expedition, Montana chapter, Guardians, Maxon chapter, uh, designation of the Maxon chapter, description. Found it some time ago when members of the Brotherhood were given knowledge of the pre-war governor's bunker looking in Colorado. The Maxon chapter was uh, obtained valuable technology and schematics they could hit from that bunker. Robotics manufacturing plant in Denver and Vault Zero. Describe notes. Historically, the chapter is somewhat of an enigma. It never really was properly equipped to complete its, complete its mission, as it only received about a third of what the Paladins had been asking. Perhaps this chapter has been only intended to hold on to the Maxim Bunker before the technological saviors of mankind could acquire it. That comes from the Lexicon of Chapters, 13th Branch. Nice. Better support them here. Air? Oh, no air. Not audio. Once we get one a day, that's good. Abandon Nevada. Well, at least we should get one going down for underground expansion at all times, probably. Reclaim Denver. The Maxon expedition suffered a tremendous defeat at the hands of the Hangdogs, unable to defeat them on their own. The expedition will need lost social reinforcements to reclaim Denver. I actually see any volunteers. Because I know they're going to get crushed eventually by Lanius, so. We'll see. Is she victorious in Navarro? Oh, look at that. The bear buckle is under its own weight. Well, let's we'll wait and see, I guess. She politics. NCR influence in the she state has grown far too strong. That must change. Quartermaster pensions, huh? Mojave chapter. Ah, description. Oh, well, hero in the council. Elders in Los Angeles have been always known to scheme against each other. However, recently, hero has taken on the task of trying to keep things orderly and functional. I mean, elder. Next name. Held by Elder Elijah, the Mojave chapters is to expand the Brotherhood of the Soldier of the Mojave, acquire Hoover Dam, and ensure the NCR isn't able to continue expansion eastwards. One of the more recent chapters, the Mojave chapter, was equipped mostly with derelict equipment from the NCR Brotherhood War. It is this scribe's opinion that this chapter never really was really intended to be successful in the long run. Seemingly, the High Elders sent them out only to get to Elijah's politics outside of Lost Hills and to serve as a temporary roadblock for the NCR while Lost Hills rebuilt the strength in the West. So how can we influence sheep politics? Intellectuals. Lose a lot of manpower. Arm this chapter. You need more infantry, huh? Attempt a coup. How much money do we have? 61? Well, we can start buying stuff, right? Buy stuff from the gun runners. There you go. Shit up is out, right? I'm not sure about this whole manpower thing, but just have to wait and see, you know? I really don't want to use manpower for any of this, but I really don't want to use political power either. Oh, 
The Washington Brotherhood, huh? Uh, the most recent chapter of the Washington Brotherhood is a new branch formed by the heads of the Lance Squadron, wishing to break off in leadership of the Midwest and instead listen to us directly. The use of the word brotherhood or chapter in a chapter's name is mostly a decision that each chapter makes and serves no formal distinction in its relation to us. Normally such a flagrant disrespect of the chains that bind would be seen as detrimental to our cause, but the NCR war has greatly limited our ability to reprimand chapters from afar now. Regardless, though, the fact that they are loyal to us then then Epsilon is potentially a value in case the Midwest ever tries to form a betrayal. Let me do it once. Uh, where's scavenging? Excavate deeper workshops. Underground refineries. So how do we get rid of this? Advanced scavenging. Advanced manufacturing. Scavenging vehicles. Oh, it's right here. Learning from the NCR Brother of the Steel War. Many brave soldiers died in the NCR Brother of the War. We need to honor the sacrifice and learn what we can learn from this conflict so that in the future we can come out victorious. Absolutely. Campbell removed from office. Oh, look at that. I don't like doing this one. Ooh, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to wait because it's only 91% chance to lose manpower and whatnot, so. To me, it's a little bit more safe. So I don't like the 71% chance. If I can prevent that from happening, that would be great. Double construction slots, admin capacity, admin centers are maxed out, safety ma centers are maxed out. Do what we must. And then trade with the sheep. In order to prepare for the San Francisco chapter to take over, we must make connections with the local sheep merchants. Making preparations. The time has come. The brother has hid in Lost Hills bunker for too long enough. It's time for us to prepare for war with the NCR. We underestimated our foe last time and cost it dearly. Now we are more prepared than ever before. We'll take all of our mind and every ounce of preparation to stand up to the barren wind. Unfortunately, there is little consensus on where to begin, though. The council is deadlocked, and while everyone can agree that the issue is of critical importance, there is little consensus on where the best place to start is, after all. And after hours of fruitless debate, the council breaks up to hear from the scribes and knights. Here come the first arguments. Technology. First, the council heard from Scribe Hutchinson, the representative of the Scribe faction in Lost Hills. The image she planned was bleak. After the loss of most of our bunkers in the war, the R&D department was almost completely lost. Our databases were destroyed, our paladin's armor so damaged as barely being held together by scraps and many lack functioning servos. Even our paladins have resulted to use primitive waste and weaponry, Hutchinson recommends a focus on research and revaluation of our weapons and power armor systems. Whether we decide to focus on recovering advanced equipment or simplifying our designs to make the best use of what we have, more research is needed before we can help to fight. Okay, next group, insufficient industry. A minority of scribes and knights have come together to voice what they feel is a more pressing issue, our industrial capacity. The loss of so much territory in the war came with the loss of much of the Brotherhood's manufacturing and repair capability. We can only keep the soldiers we have equipped and our construction projects stretch on for months or even years. It suggests that our first step is a complete overhaul of our industrial sector so we can build up our material strength. Only then can we really complete or contemplate being ready for war. And then, unready for war. The last group of speakers comprised mainly of Brotherhood Knights. According to them, as much as we may want to avoid the truth, we simply are not ready for war. Our thousands are few in number, and many are scattered amongst the expedition chapters. We train our men for our battle against overwhelming odds. The bunkers lost in the war need to be reclaimed and repaired now. New fortifications must be built, trenches must be dug, and pal lands must be made. We need to reclaim what was lost before we can fight again. Beyond land and resources, we need to bring back the brothers scattered and lost by the war. 
and it's a question of our strategy. Our usual tactics did not defeat the bear before. Perhaps we need to change our approach to ascend a chance this time. More than technologically or technology or industry, it is the will of our men in the planning of our leaders that carries the day in battle, uh, or day in a battle. It's only natural that we organize our preparations from the ground up and give our soldiers what they need to fight. In the end, we will need to address all three issues to stand a real chance of overcoming our foe. But debate about whether to begin has deadlocked the council and solid progress. No matter what path we decide to take, we need to get started on the preparations thus we make an ally of our enemy. Or make time an ally of our enemy. A final vote is called in the High Council, the High Elder making the deadly deciding vote on where to begin. We'll rely on our technological advantage, build up our military, military industry, or rely on the determination and preparation of our brothers to carry the day. Honestly, I like the map art. It's not much, but I want, we need the men. Especially keep sending people to uh, San Francisco, too. Oh, look at this kid. That'll give us even slightly, slightly more army speed to work with. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? Demilitarization, secret rally support? Uh, seek appeasement. I don't want to lose that political power disappointment. I'm not going to lose three arms workshops either. Going down, that's fine. Hi, Elder Promotion! Lost Hills Council, a group of consisting of the elders living within the bunker, is a governing body that decides among whom of them is the High Elder of the Brotherhood of Steel. In the past, these promotions often lasted until death of the preceding High Elder, but as of late, they have become much more common as that council struggles for power amongst itself. Oh, excellent. Oh, pretty good. Oh, what is this? Oh, support the cause, eh? Support the immortal. Anchorage base, huh? We need more equipment and power armor. The cause is doing pretty well for itself. Let's save real quick. Where do we offer power armor? We're really lacking. Screw it. 334. We would need 250. 250 and at least 1,000 guns. Well, we've got 114. No, we've got 500 some. We have no money. Montana chapter, Gulf Expedition, Leon's Expedition, Texas Expedition. Um, well, I can get that stuff pretty quickly. Securing the nearly lost bunkers. There are some old bunkers we can reestablish with some better chances of victory. And scavenging power armor. The power armor turned the tide of the Great War, helping American forces drive to the gates of Beijing. Now it's the armor, all the very emblem of the Brotherhood. We gotta collect them all. I'm looking for lasers in all the wrong places. Wish we could get some plasma guns. Oh well. Get stability and lose war support. Seek appeasement. We're gonna do that one real quick. Ah. Arm them. Yeah, we could probably do that one too. And the influence sheet politics some more. Oh look, no political power. Oh god. Brotherhood presence. Nice. A few more guns would be nice too. Because it's not doing so well now. Oh no. Where's the she at for this? 48%. Oh, 48% intellectuals. Okay, so a couple more days. Oh, and then they'll be done. Emperor overthrown. The brother efforts have succeeded in launching a coup against the Emperor in San Francisco. The vast stories of advanced pre-war technology can finally be reclaimed and analyzed by our scribes. Perhaps. That would be good. Attempt a coup. We need more infantry equipment. I 
I'm about to have it. Nice, nah, good stuff. Gotta wait a couple more days. Gotta do that one last time. Advanced scavenging. Now we're ready to begin an advanced scavenging program, searching the wastelands for viable technology. Yeah, we have to do that one. First tension is Oh, 75. Infiltrate Bunker Alpa. Demilitarization. This one to two. Yeah, infiltrate NCR Congress. Infiltrate Glenville. Oh, it went back down. It was 75, now it's 55. Okay. Well, then whatever. Prepare for Operation Sunburst. Six is the big MT. Alright, so attempt a coup. Save real quick again. God, we need money. 60 days. Daring expedition. A group of young knights petitioned the High Council on approval for a mission they devised. Unsatisfied with their current scavenging efforts, they are proposing a much larger expedition be launched. A volunteer force would travel far beyond our borders and deep into NCR territory to search for viable technology. This group has already picked a list of targets to search. Mostly military arsenals and military research facilities that have remained untouched so far because of their deadly automated defense systems. The two very promising sites. First is the Power Armor Laboratory that was working on new prototypes before the war. From records, as best we can tell, this location serves the primary research center collecting data from the battlefields in Alaska and communicating with other laboratories across the country, such as Cambridge, Polymer Labs, and the Commonwealth. The other than experimental weapons testing ground, the information on it is so classified that we cannot be certain what kinds of weapons they were even working on, but rumors of perhaps wishful thinking suggest that Gauss rifles or plasma weaponry were first tested there. We can't be certain what we will find it either, but it will almost certainly be a profitable expedition if successful. But as the odds of success are worry many members of the Council, the defenses at these locations haven't just kept our prospectors, even the NCR Rangers have failed to breach them, and the group of volunteers is largely made up of new knights and scribes. The majority are from, are from after the NCR war and have never seen combat. Casualties will almost certainly be high, as we don't have any, many men to spare for. Energy weaponry? I'm gonna go with that one. Recall generals. Infantry focus. Power armor focus. Defense focus. Fortifying lost cells. Internal fortifications. External fortifications. Guardian Brotherhood. Designation of the Guardian Brotherhood, scribes notes, scribe on around 2195. On the seventh branch was the first to use this designation for them, but I'm not sure where she sourced it from. It feels to me as if it was inference on her part. Description, one of the oldest chapters of the Guardians. We'll need to ask the I Elder for permission to read from the founding archives, as there's very little information on the Guardians and the prerogative in which they were founded. I have found some scant references to the disagreements of a bureau rights dating to around the Exodus from Mariposa, yet information on them before or even after the Exodus to the Glow is almost entirely unknown. I wonder the scribes before me were just as frustrated as I am about the situation. Hey, skirmish outside Lost Hills. The fools are to challenge us. The NCR's finally decided to challenge our dominance in the realm of power armor. Thankfully, Brother the Paladin swiftly defeated the NCR Rangers sent to challenge us. Let's oh, forget that. Support them. The Guardians never really agreed with the Brotherhood so, on so much. Nevertheless, they showed the Brotherhood's commitment to the preservation of technology and their only foothold in Nevada. Scavenging excursion, expedition, and campaign. How do you lower tension? Oh, we can also support the council, or support the cause. The immortals stray too far from the politics of the cult codex. We must prepare the cause of John to his dominion over Washington. Oh crap, the answer has won the war in the Mojave. Elijah has been killed, Helios one has fallen, and most of the Mojave chapter is scattered. But maybe there's a silver lining. The NCR will inevitably end up in conflict with the Legion. Give us an opportunity to strike. 
Uh oh. Not good. Very not good. Uh what else we have here? Maxon's honor. Huh. We might use that one maybe. Not bad. It's over here. We'll train reserves. Only the strong survive. Probably well train reserves would probably be probably the best one. My bad for losing that, those guys. Uh oh. Infantry equipment and power armor. Well, we don't have that. Nevada secured. Can I send you oh, I can send you volunteers now. Well, at least we can do something here. I wish I didn't do that one then. My bad. I wanted to help all these guys out, but I guess not. Taxes expedition? Fort Hood? That would be really good to get. But we could have just abandoned Texas. <sighs> Workshop expansion. Bunker. The workshops of Lost Souls are in a sorry state. They need to change the way we help defeating the NCR. Yeah. I have a feeling I don't need this. Well, at least we're going to get in some sort of conflict here. Um, go with Pain Train and Life Giver. No, we'll go with Life Giver too. Our sisters are nice. Ah, they have their own special forces here doing that too, huh? There you go. Have fun with it. Ah! The brother efforts have succeeded in launching a coup against the Emperor in San Francisco. The vast stores of advanced pre-war technology can finally be reclaimed and analyzed by our scribes. At least that's good. It's very, very good, actually. This in chapter news, the Gulf Brothers driven underground. We just received news that the Gulf Brothers have been driven underground or falling to the fountains of dreams. Who knows uh, what happened to the fountain of dreams now or even if it really existed. Reading the Isotope chapter. Gulf Expedition. Uh, from our brief communication to the Lions Expedition, we've heard that the Gulf Brotherhood is a chapter originating from the Midwest. The search of something called the Fountain of Dreams, a tower that can create a natural alternative to Radaway. Getting into contact with the chapters at Vaz, we know startling little about them. Well, if you really want to win, I guess. Good job, guys. Good job. Hey, and she. Very nice. At least we did something right. Completed the focus of vertebrates are dawn. Ooh! 
She laboratories have had it secured. The Guardians, after all, after a fierce fight or conflict in the region, have beaten the rivals in Nevada and attained ownership over most of the Esmeralda Valley. As any sort of support, they have sent us valuable tactical data from the conflicts. Nice. Black Rock League. Huh. Send production assistance to the Max Expedition, eh? The retreat from Denver faced. Uh, oh, it's the capable of le assuming leadership. That's not good. Uh, Forced expedition to abandon most of the equipment. The only way able to survive is if they can rebuild their army stockpiles. We can help with that. Ah, Elder Francis forms the San Francisco chapter. Today, the Brother of Steel will grow their influence in California as Elder Francis announced that she would henceforth be led by the San Francisco chapter, ending a sustained period of ideological debate in San Francisco. After both martial gains and the city dissolved, the she emperors perfectly petitioned Los Angeles for assistance in restoring order in the city, effectively placing the bay under her brotherhood control. Elder Francis, the leader of the San Francisco chapter, rose to power with the support of the existing brotherhood delegation in the Xi, promising brotherhood assistance against the ever-threatening NCR. Under their reign, technological preservation and the construction of a series of defensive bunkers are expected to become a priority of the Xi. An excellent development. Fantastic. And also guaranteed by the Drino or the Sim Volunteers Drino. Hey, at least we got something really good here. At this point, we got a rush to do infiltrate the NCR. Oh boy. Sorry we took you all Xi, buddy, but we're not really sorry. The Guardians accept our offer. It seems that letting Elder Rianon negotiate with the Guardians has paid off. They finally agreed to begin the slow decommissioning of their own heraldry in favor of the more strictly adhering to Codex Protocol. It's a great day for the Brotherhood. Stand together, brothers. Nice. The Nevada Paladins return. Many members of the Guardian Brotherhood have requested to relocate to Los Angeles in anticipation of potential conflict with the NCR. Now the Guardian Brothers recruited the Wastelanders to fill the gaps in the ranks, those whose members can. But I'm dropped the car. Hey, at least any volunteers? Is that possible? I guess either one really doesn't matter. They're both monsters in the end. Texan Brotherhood, Alamo Chapter. Good signals, good. Civilized tech. You just need as much political power as possible. The Midwest claimed Chicago. The Midwest brother to steal claim Chicago as their own. They're now the dominant power in the West Sands Heartland. This is great. Cool. Um a command. I like losing less soldiers, that's my thing. Hit and run. Flexibility command. Good, thank you, support. Hello. Scribes. Oh, I'm sending a stim pack too. Midwest Expedition. Elder Leon's mission is simple. Re-establish communications with Eastern chapters, discover the truth behind rumors of Superman activity in Washington, and reclaim America's capital for the Brotherhood. Recall personnel from these guys. Skirmish outside Los Hills. Leon's expeditions reached each, each cause and began establishing itself, but foes in the capital west are much stronger than anticipated. The expedition needed a lot of support to complete its mission. Oh boy. Let's get this guy, that's good. And the Guardians, too. Western Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. 
Construction slots, construction slots, cons cities. Condense workshop. You can mechanically put a maximum 15 civvies to work in a single state, but doing this you can get more effective building speed. Industrial growth? Our engineers have managed to consolidate enough space in Los Angeles bunker to form multiple new workshops, increasing our industrial capabilities. Well, that would be good, I guess. You know. Why wouldn't you want that, you know? Filled with purpose, huh? Vancouver Maven requests lower tariffs. So now we can focus more up here. Even though I don't mind doing maybe an expedition. You know what? We'll do an expedition. Mutant State DC. We just received news that the group of super mutants has defeated Elder Leon's chapter, claiming ownership over all of DC. Oh no. We're hearing the stories of the corpses of the brother, members are being hanged outside of the Citadel to show up mutant supremacy. Well, that's terrible. Oh. Appears that she wish to expand the Brothers' facility in San Francisco. While well, the general are opposed to working with outsiders with advanced technology, the she have a common interest in checking the Republic, and we can leave the fools to say no. Perhaps no service, if the worst would ever happen. The Codex will accommodate this, surely. Shepherd's Conquest. Project Purity. Well, that sucks. Man, we all locked out of all that. That really sucks. Seems those rumors about supermutants weren't completely false. A group of supermutants, led by someone known as Shepard, have reclaimed DC for their own. They force Leon's soldiers in hiding. Crap. Not ideal at all. That sucks. That really does suck. Um, I gotta get that stim pack too. Yes, in assistance, the retreat from Denver forced the expedition to abandon most of the equipment. The only will that survives they can rebuild their arm stockpile, we can help with that. But I think we went up there. It's a good look into the first episode of us playing as Lost Hills. I mean, we can't get everything, but we did get the Guardians to win. Ooh, maybe we can help them out some more. And uh, we got the She under us, too, which is actually fan freaking fantastic. So if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. So we'll continue with Lost Hills. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.